Central Phil, 1770 NT John Deere uh, Kleiner. Some of the modifications that we have done are my favorite modifications, probably the uh, seat firmer, the Keaton. Uh, it's the new style, it's easy to replace. And uh, having the Mojo wires on there, I think, is critical to, to having them work properly. I also have Thompson closing wheels. Uh, I've talked quite a bit with Matt Hagney over the years on some of his equipment and actually helped him with the, some of the development of them. Um, I'm very, very impressed with the Thompson closing wheels, uh, as I am with the Keatons, especially the new style. Uh, another really important part of this, this system to work is having good new discs, having uh, uh, good gauge wheels that are actually touching the disc to keep loose soil from going down into that V, and also having the right kind of seed tube protector, one that's going to last. Those, uh, the regular seed tube protectors that you might go buy at John Deere, uh, for me, in no-till conditions, and this is 20-year no-till that's fairly mellow, I still can only get, for the 24-row planter, maybe five or 600 acres out of those seed tube protectors before we lose the, the, the V that we're trying to attain to place seed. What happens is that seed tube protector will get worn on the sides, and then as you're entering the soil, as you're going through the soil, the flex of the blades will come together, causing a very, very narrow slot at the bottom of your V. It's not a good V uh, wide all the way to the bottom, so your seed might not go all the way to the bottom. So having a, a, a really good seed tube protector from, you know, Exapta or RK, used to make a good one, I don't know if they still do. Um, we get ours from Exapta, and uh, they do a phenomenal job of, of lasting the entire season because they're super, super hard. Uh, they're not going to wear out like a, a standard C2 protector. Uh, I think the equally important, uh, I think critically important, is uh, it used to be whenever we were in all tillage, our last pass over was very, very important so that we had a nice uniform seed bed. I think that it's even more important now to have your combine set up so that you have nice, even residue distribution. And preferably, everything left out there as tall as possible. I, I can't stand the chopping corn heads, for instance. You want that residue to be nice, long, and tall. Uh, that's why we use a stripper header on wheat. We use a, um, the corn head that we do. We want to leave that corn stalks tall and long. Then, and what that does is it prevents us from having to use this uh, um, row cleaner. Uh, I do love these row cleaners. They're made by Martin. And uh, we've got the air cylinders on them so we can lift them up. And they are lifted up 95% of the time, maybe 99% of the time. We'll have whole fields we never use the row cleaner on. Uh, and I prefer it that way. I don't want to replant weed seeds and I don't want to disturb that area next to where my true bee is going to be coming through. Uh, true bee openers, as you can see, we've got plenty of bevel. These have only planted about 400 acres uh, on these discs. Uh, we keep them light new. We lose very little wear before we'll go through it. Uh, in a season, on approximately 3,000 acres of planting, we will go through two sets of discs. You know, if we get 1,500 acres out of a set of discs, we're doing pretty good. So we, we rebuild this drill, this planter uh, almost completely halfway through the season. Uh, some of the things we will not have to replace, or rarely will we have to replace these gauge wheels throughout that season. These will be fine. Really about the only thing we're going to tackle is the disc mid-season to make sure that we keep like new super sharp discs. Um, we won't have to replace the C2 protectors anymore since we went to using Exaptas. They will last actually multiple years. Very, very impressed with those. Uh, we will not have to replace these closing wheels. These are Thompson closing wheels. They are not made to do any packing of the seed. That's done by the Keaton. These are simply to uh, make sure we have a good loose soil over the top of the seed. The seed is really planted with the disc and the Keaton. 
The Keaton's what firms it into the bottom of the V and all this does is bring loose soil back over the top. Yeah, we've got uh, uh, Road Command on it and, uh, and we're RTK. We want to place those seeds right next to the old row. We try to move it over about four inches, three to four inches to the side. Our fertilizer system is a dry system where we pull our cart, air cart, the same cart that we use on our uh, air drill. That same cart will go behind the planter and we'll blow our starter uh, directly on top of and behind that row of seed. It'll be, uh, it'll be placed uh, right in front of the Thompsons. It's designed where it's spreading that fertilizer out over about a three inch area, about this wide down here at the bottom. So approximately half of it is directly in the row with the seed, and approximately half of it is worked in with the Thompsons into the top. What that does, it allows me to go a little bit higher on my nitrogen rates right down the road. Right. Um, other precision stuff, yeah, we can variable rate. We can variable rate within the field, but not across the planter, not within, you know, we're not gonna have a different rate one side to the other on the planter. But the planter within the field, we can write prescriptions and variable, uh, variable rate uh, on the fertilizer and on the seed. Because we're RTK and we, uh, uh, we don't need markers or anything like that, there's not as much weight out here on the ends of the, on the wings of my planter. So we've added all these suitcase weights out to the end. Uh, having adequate weight is very, very important. Now, rarely do we need all of it, but uh, we do really like it. One thing that I do like, and some people don't, is the pneumatic down pressure. I think that we tend to run way too low of margins. Most people, I run a very high margin because I want to make sure that I'm getting it in the ground. And but one thing with air is it's very slow. You're not going to be able to change your down pressure, let's say going across a track, you know, a combine track or something like that. So it's very slow, but it does help me uh, change my down pressure in general areas of the field. I've got fields that have a heavy clay and some river sand in the same area, and I can, it is fast enough to pick up on changes in soil types and change your down pressure that way. So it does have a benefit. And when I'm running another planter in the field with me, I can call him and tell him what, how many pounds of pressure he needs to run on his in a certain area. So right. it's, it's not necessarily cutting edge technology, but it's good technology.